Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, today's video has absolutely nothing to do with paper crafting, but it is an awesome Dollar Tree hack that I'm using and I thought I'd share it with you. Stay tuned. Y'all, welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers and to all of my new friends. Welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends. Thank you all so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. You already know what this video is about from the thumbnail, so I'm not going to take up too much of your time, but I did want to share with you how this came about. As the weather warms up, we like to enjoy the backyard and I have spots in my backyard that I'm really, really fond of but I wanted a little bit more lighting and I really wanted that lighting to express a mood. And I knew that I wanted some little hanging lanterns, but I was not willing to pay the price for the lanterns that were out there. So I decided I would try to make my own. And y'all, I was in Dollar Tree and I stumbled across a product that told me, yes, you can make your own. And so here are just a few pictures of the lights in my backyard that I made using this awesome Dollar Tree hack that I know anyone can do. Y'all, yeah, wasn't that pretty? and you're not going to believe how easy it is. And it all started with this little Crafter Square retractable holder. It's meant to be like a pencil holder, a paintbrush holder, but when I saw it, I knew that it met my need. So basically it just comes out like this. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And now you can see how you can have your lights shining through. And what I use for my lights are these little fairy lights that you guys have seen me use on the channel for quite a while now. And all I did was I trimmed down the inside portion so I would have easy access to the on and off switch of the lights like this. And then when you turn the lights on, this is what you get. It's not really showing up as well as it would if it was dark in here or it was nighttime. But y'all, these are just so stinking cute. You saw it in the pictures. You saw how it looked. It all came from this. I'm going to show you very quickly how I made it. And then when I'm ready to turn it off, all I have to do is go in, turn it off. And there we have it. And so y'all, here's what I'm going to be doing. So you want to work on the end that has the handle on it. This side, we're going to trim down. So what I'm going to do is go down about six or seven grooves. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because I need to make sure that I have enough grooves that I can screw this in. So I'm just going to take my finger blade and go in and make a cut. And then I'll just keep doing that with my finger blade. And this is very soft plastic, so the finger blade goes in easily and we just make our cut going around. If you're not comfortable doing this part, you might want to have someone cut it for you. But you can see that my fingers are not in jeopardy of being sliced because they're up here and I'm holding it at the top away from the blade. And if you think that any of the plastic might fly off, you can always wear safety glasses. I wear eyeglasses, so I'm not really worried about that. But in all of these that I cut, the plastic did not fly off. So then once I get to the end, I can see that I was a little bit crooked, but that's okay. I can just take my scissors and snip off the rest. What we need is we need enough to be able to screw in like that so that we have a nice tight lid on this so you can see how much I have left. And so now I have my little fairy lights. I will just unwind these. Yeah. 
And each one of these little fairy lights works out to about 83 cents a piece. This is $1.25. So you're looking at a project that you can make for a little over $2. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this little tag here. That'll make it work. And now I see that my lights are going to work. And I'm not doing a whole lot in terms of how I unwind these. I'm basically just stretching them out like this. Like I said, not a whole lot going into this. Then I'm going to take some of my foam tape. I also got this from the Dollar Tree a while back. I'm going to place some foam tape there. And then I'm going to place another piece of foam tape on the top because there's a little curve to the inside of this and I just need it to be thick enough so that everything sticks nicely. So when I take this and I put it in, I'm going to make sure that the control switch is facing down. So all I'll have to do is take my fingers and go in and turn it on and off. And you can see how I have it on the inside like that. There's my control switch. And so now all I have to do is open it and turn it on and off. And I'll have the link for these fairy lights in the description box. So if you have questions about the lights, the longevity, any of those type questions, please make sure that you read the product description on Amazon as well as probably some of the questions that people might have asked in the Q&A section on Amazon. That way, the questions that you have, somebody might have already answered. So now I'm just going to take these and I'm just feeding them inside like this. And then I'll screw that on. And there you can see my lights are in. Whenever I'm ready to turn the lights on, I can just turn them on, put my little cap back on. I have this nice little handle here. I can now take these outdoors, hang them from a tree branch, hang them from a shepherd's hook, hang them from a planter's hook on my house. Anything that has a protrusion, I can just dangle these so that I have some instant light. And I had seven of these going at the same time in my backyard in one area. And it gave me a fair amount of light. It gave me that mood that I wanted out in the backyard. So y'all, there we have it. A very quick and easy way to get some instant light in your outdoor spaces. Let's just say you want to set a mood in a room and you just want to hang these strategically somewhere. Go for it because it is so easy to make these. It all started with one of these Dollar Tree retractable holders. You can find these in the craft section at Dollar Tree. Or if you don't have a Dollar Tree, why not try this with some soda bottles? I bet it will work wonders for you. And then I wanted to bring this one in to show you that I was just playing around with some of the gems that I had. And I thought, how cute would this be if you're planning an outdoor wedding? Grab some of these, get some nice cute little gems in the wedding colors and then just decorate. Have these out and about. How cute is that, y'all? So I hope that this has inspired some of you to illuminate those spaces in your backyard, in your house, in your everywhere. If it has, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.